morning students we are discussing microbes in a biogas production right microbes in biogas production right now listen here sir what is the calorific value of a biogas calorific value of biogas calorific value of a biogas calorific value of a biogas is a 23 to 28 mega joule per meter cube how much it is calorific value of biogas is a 23 to 28 mega joule per meter cube mega joule per meter cube now listen this statement compared to compared to dung cake biogas yields less amount of energy therefore concerned to energy yield who is giving more energy dung cake compared to biogas but biogas burners efficiency is very high biogas burners efficiency is a very high is this statement okay right therefore biogas energy yield whose yield biogas energy yield is a lower than lower than what dung cake lower than dung cake but biogas what biogas burners biogas burners efficiency efficiency is a very high is this statement okay therefore energy yield is low whereas uh, efficiency is high of whom biogas sir to produce biogas uh, right uh, gober is used cow dung is used large quantities of cow dung available in rural areas so better to establish biogas plants in which areas rural areas is this statement okay right therefore right uh, production of biogas production of what biogas production of biogas uh, requires production of biogas uh, requires uh, what sir cow dung which is uh, available in large quantities which is available in large quantities uh, in rural areas which is available in large quantities in rural areas so better to establish biogas plants better to establish biogas uh, plants uh, in which areas uh, rural areas better to establish biogas plant in rural areas now this statement is very important right now listen this statement in the total process of uh, in the total process of uh, biogas production digestion of cellulose is the digestion of cellulose is the rate limiting factor digestion of cellulose is the rate limiting factor in the total process of biogas production why sir because digestion of cellulose takes place slowly what takes place slowly digestion of cellulose takes place uh, slowly therefore in the total process in the total process 
in the total process of uh, what sir biogas production in the total process of biogas uh, production cellulose digestion what cellulose digestion is the rate limiting factor who is a rate limiting factor in the total process of biogas production cellulose digestion why sir as a cellulose digestion takes place uh, slowly digestion of cellulose takes place slowly that's why digestion of cellulose is the rate limiting factor in the total process of a biogas production is this statement okay right now during biogas production lignin and inorganic salts are not digested what and what are not digested lignin and inorganic salts are not digested so they remains in the residue remains in the residue in biogas production or during biogas production during biogas production lignin lignin and uh, what sir inorganic inorganic salts what and what lignin and inorganic salts are not digested are not digested so they remains in residue what remains in residue lignin and inorganic salts why sir they are not digested during uh, biogas production they are not digested during biogas uh, production is this statements clear right now see this is a, a schematic diagram of a biogas plant this is a schematic diagram of what a biogas plant right this dots indicates a soil surface what this dots indicates a surface of the soil this dots indicates a soil surface what this dots indicates a soil surface now listen here this is a concrete tank what is this one concrete tank this is a concrete tank also called as a digester also called as what digester concrete tank concrete uh, tank also called as what sir digester also called as digester sir what is the depth of this concrete tank sir its uh, depth is a uh, 10 to 15 uh, feet meters and feet sir uh, its feet what is the depth of concrete tank this concrete tank is 10 to 15 feet deep 10 to 15 feet uh, deep is it okay right now this is a small tank uh, in which uh, cow dung or cattle dung is mixed with water when cow dung or cattle dung is mixed with water what is formed sir slurry is formed paste like substance therefore in this small tank what we are doing we are taking cattle dung and we are mixing that cattle dung with what sir water 
then what we are getting we are getting slurry instead of cow dung or cattle dung we can take bio waste also instead of cattle dung right or cow dung what more we can take sir bio waste is this statement okay right therefore cattle dung cow dung or bio waste mixed with water to form what slurry now with the help of a inlet what is this small pipe called as a inlet with the help of this inlet right we are introducing slurry into the digester what is introduced slurry is introduced into the digester with the help of what sir inlet is this statement okay right now above this slurry a floating cover is provided where above the slurry what is provided a floating cover is provided a floating cover is uh, provided sir what is this tank called as digester right now this slurry gets digested what gets digested slurry gets digested when this slurry is digested by microbial activity what is digested slurry is digested with the help of what microorganism so i am calling it as microbial activity when this slurry is digested by microbial activity right uh, what is produced sir biogas is produced as biogas uh, right is produced in this tank uh, the floating cover goes on rising up who rises up floating cover rises up when when gas biogas is produced inside the tank how biogas is produced by the microbial activity this microorganisms are acting on what sir slurry therefore when this slurry is digested by microorganisms biogas is produced in this tank is this statement okay once biogas is produced inside the tank the floating cover which is present above the slurry goes on rising up therefore what rises up floating cover rises up what rises up floating cover rises up when as biogas is produced inside the tank how this biogas is produced by the microbial activity what microorganisms are doing they are digesting the slurry is this statement okay right now when this what is produced biogas when biogas is produced this biogas is collected in a gas holder what it is called as a gas holder this biogas is collected in a gas holder this is gas holder sir in this gas holder what is collected biogas is collected biogas is collected is it okay now this biogas uh, collected in gas holder right uh, this biogas uh, which is collected in gas holder is directly right uh, directly right is taken to a stove with the help of what sir with the help of a outlet with the help of a outlet therefore biogas which is collected right in a gas holder right uh, is connected to the stove with the help of a outlet with the help of a outlet now listen here sir now in this uh, what digester what is present used slurry is present what is present used slurry is present can we call that used slurry as a spent slurry s p e n t now that spent slurry present in digester right uh, is removed from the digester with the help of another outlet what it is a uh, outlet this is a uh, a outlet through this outlet what we are removing sir we are removing used up slurry right nothing but a spent slurry
therefore now this spent slurry is taken into another small tank yes or no now this spent slurry it can be used as a fertilizer spent slurry used as a what sir fertilizer spent slurry is used as fertilizer we can call it even as manure we can call it even as what manure this statement is important right once uh, right this slurry produces biogas the slurry which is left which is remaining we are calling it as spent slurry that spent slurry is taken into a small tank with the help of a outlet this spent slurry is used as a fertilizer or manure spent slurry is used as a fertilizer or what sir manure is this biogas plant diagram schematic diagram is it okay this is a schematic diagram of what biogas plant right therefore cow dung or cattle dung right or bio waste plus water forms what slurry this slurry is introduced into the digester with the help of a inlet now this slurry is digested by microorganisms due to this digestion biogas is produced once biogas is produced the floating cover which is placed over the slurry rises up the biogas produced is collected in a gas holder this gas holder is connected to stove with the help of a outlet once biogas is produced the used up slurry spent slurry is taken into another small tank with the help of a outlet this spent slurry is used as a fertilizer or manure this spent slurry is used as a fertilizer or manure is this statement okay right now this is the schematic diagram of uh, which plant sir biogas plant now listen here sir to produce a biogas to produce a biogas we are using a cattle dung as raw material yes or no which dung as raw material cattle dung as a raw material in india in india right uh, <coughs> instead instead of uh, using instead of using a uh, cattle dung instead of using cattle dung uh, as a uh, raw material as what raw material right uh, a weed a weed uh, by name i cornea crossips what is the plant name i cornea crossips it is a weed it is a unwanted plant right i cornea crossips is uh, utilized is uh, utilized is this statement okay therefore instead of using uh, cattle dung or cow dung to produce biogas right uh, in india right uh, a weed uh, was exploited to produce biogas what is that weed sir icarnia crossips icarnia crossips it is a weed icarnia crossips is a weed which is exploited instead of uh, what cattle dung to produce biogas therefore icarnia crossips is a weed which is exploited instead of cow dung to produce a biogas is this statement okay right now listen here <coughs> alcohol as fuel
alcohol as what's a fuel listen ethanol c2h5oh right or ethyl alcohol ethanol right uh, nothing but what ethyl alcohol as a part or as a partly or completely ethyl alcohol as partly or completely substituted what petrol substituted what sir petrol with suitable modifications in automobile engine or automobile engines what does this statement mean see in automobiles we are using petrol right in automobiles we are using petrol instead of petrol we can use ethyl alcohol completely ethyl alcohol can be used as a fuel in automobiles is it okay or we can mix uh, right alcohol in the petrol therefore completely ethyl alcohol can be used as a fuel instead of petrol or this ethyl alcohol is mixed with petrol and used as a fuel that's why we are saying that ethyl alcohol as partly or completely partly it means ethyl alcohol is mixed with petrol or completely it means uh, ethyl alcohol alone used as fuel instead of petrol therefore ethyl alcohol as partly or completely substituted petrol with suitable modifications in what sir automobile engines it means uh, with a slight modifications in the automobile engines with a slight modifications in the automobile engines we can use this ethyl alcohol right as a substituent for petrol as a substituent for petrol we are discussing alcohol as a fuel right alcohol as what fuel now reason here raising a plants a raising raising plants a for alcohol raising plants for what alcohol called uh, energy plantation energy plantation therefore what is the meaning of energy plantation sir energy plantation means nothing but we are growing plants we are growing a crop for which purpose for alcohol therefore raising plants uh, for alcohol called as what energy plantation energy plantation sir how we can extract alcohol from plants sir listen this statement how we can extract alcohol from plants sir how we can extract alcohol from plants sir take yeast has ability to carry out fermentation yes or no plant to produce as a starch therefore alcohol is uh, extracted uh, from starch sources alcohol is extracted from starch sources through fermentation who is doing that fermentation yeast therefore alcohol alcohol extracted from which sources starch sources starch sources through fermentation through fermentation by yeast through fermentation by yeast right 
सर वाट आर द्लांट फ्रम विच आलोहल इज एक्सट्राक्टेड रईट आलोहल इज एक्सट्राक्टेड विच इज यूज एज ए फ्यूअल सर देर फोर प्लांट ग्रोन इन energy plantations plants grown in energy plantations sugar cane right sugar beet sugar beet maize potato right tapicona sugar cane sugar beet maize potato tapicona these are some plants uh, right from where alcohol is extracted which is used as a fuel is it okay right brazil its country name right brazil is the first leading company a leading country leading country which is using <coughs> alcohol which is using alcohol as a fuel right in automobiles therefore what is the first successful company successful country what is the first successful country right uh, which has utilized uh, alcohol as a automobile fuel cell brazil is this statement okay right recently indian government allowed a to mix alcohol with petrol is it okay right therefore recently indian government uh, allowed uh, to mix alcohol with uh, petrol how much percentage of alcohol sir 5 percentage of alcohol 5 percentage of alcohol therefore recently indian government uh, allowed to mix uh, right 5 percentage of alcohol with uh, petrol this is about uh, right alcohol as a uh, fuel now go for the next topic petro plants what it is petro plants petro plants a scientist by name a kelvin what is the scientist name kelvin identified that calvin identified that uh, certain plants some plants certain plants uh, produce as uh, hydrocarbons what they produce as a uh, hydrocarbons certain plants produce as a uh, hydrocarbons for example plants belonging to families plants belonging to families what are that families number 1 you for bac number 2 asclepiadaceae asclepiadaceae number 3 apocyanaceae plants belonging to families what euphorbiaceae 
അസ്ക്ലീപിയഡേസി എപ്പോസയേസി പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് വാട്ട്സ് ആർ ലാറ്റക്സ് വാട്ട് ദ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് ലാറ്റക്സ് സർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇസ് ലാറ്റക്സ് സർ ലാറ്റക്സ് ഇസ് എ മിൽക്കി സെക്രീഷൻ മിൽക്ക് ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് chemically it is a emulsion right latex is chemically a emulsion therefore plants belonging to these three families what they produce as are they produce as latex what is the meaning of latex a milky secretion which contains uh, hydrocarbons which contains what sir hydrocarbons which contains uh, hydrocarbons which contains hydrocarbons is it okay right now listen here as this latex uh, contains what sir hydrocarbons this latex can be used to produce a uh, what sir petrol this latex can be used to pro- produce what petrol is this statement okay most of the petro plants uh, belongs to family euphorbiaceae most of the most of the petro plants most of the petro plants uh, belongs to which family euphorbiaceae family i think you heard about uh, a plant by name jetropa what is the plant name jetropha this jetropha belongs to which family euphorbiaceae family jetropha belongs to which family euphorbiaceae family and this jetropha it is a petro plant jetropha it is a which plant petro plant jetropha is a petro plant is it okay right now in first year we read about one plant uh, by name deris indica what is the plant name deris indica deris indica what is another name of deris indica pongamia pinnata there is indica pongamia pinnata sir what is the common name of this there is indica there is pongamia pinnata kanuga yes or no right it comes under which family sir fabaceae family comes under which family fabaceae family this deris indica it is also a petro plant deris indica it is also a which plant petro plant therefore petro plants are petro crops most of the petro plants belongs to which family euphorbiaceae family jetropha comes under which family euphorbiaceae family the credit of identifying petro plants goes to which scientist kelvin right there is indica what is its common name kanuga belongs to which family fabaceae family it is also a which plant sir petro plant it is also a petro plant this is about uh, petro plants